Hello to all you good people, you're watching 3.0 TV. I'm Vinita Chatterjee, leading you into the world of digital currencies. Crypto TV has rebranded itself as 3.0 TV to provide an all-round update to viewers and help broaden the understanding of the evolving digital segment, including cryptocurrencies, blockchain projects, metaverse, non-fungible tokens, cybersecurity, and several other related issues. So keep watching 3.0 TV for all things related to Web3 to keep abreast of all the ongoing happenings and transformation in the digital space. Cryptocurrencies rebounded amid easing geopolitical tensions. Bitcoin above $23,000. Nomad bridge hackers return $9 million after exploitation. Broker Robinhood slashes nearly one quarter of workforce. Crypto VC firm Hashed admits losing over $3 billion in Luna Crash. NFT exchange Magic Eden expands Ethereum. Play Studios launches blockchain gaming division and $10 million Web3 fund. The Jack Dorsey tweet NFT has a current best offer of $400, down from $2.9 million. Decentraland launches world's first Metaverse ATM. Let's deep dive into these stories. Cryptocurrencies rebounded on Wednesday on easing political tension amid expectations that the services data later today will reflect the ongoing weakness in the U.S. economy, forcing the Federal Reserve to slow its pace of rate hikes later in the year. Bitcoin climbed above $23,000. U.S. stocks edged higher with S&P 500 and the tech-heavy Nasdaq trading higher by 0.6% and 0.9% respectively in early trades. The U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi departed Taiwan, marking the first visit by a highest-ranking American official without any major escalation from China. Beijing, however, conducted military exercises in the sea near China's Taiwan, blocking its airspace. Cryptocurrency exchanges liquidated over $56 million worth of positions in futures trades in the past 12 hours as investors abandoned their bearish bets. Over 72% of liquidated positions were short bets, data showed. Bitcoin was recently seen trading at around $23,400, up over 2% in the past 24 hours. The biggest cryptocurrency earlier in the day climbed to $23,578, last seen on August 1st. Ethereum, the second biggest cryptocurrency, traded around $1,640, up over 4% in a similar time span. Among the major altcoins, Solana fluctuated between gains and losses amid reports of over 8 million hack from the blockchain-linked wallets of Phantom and Slope. Nomad bridge hackers sent back $9 million a day after the cross-chain bridge was compromised for $190.38 million. So far, $9 million has been recovered, accounting for approximately 4.75% of the total loss. The protocol asked white hat hackers and ethical researchers to return cash in a tweet, allowing users to transfer tokens from Ethereum to other chains like EVMOS and Moonbeam. The majority of return funds have been stable coins, with $3.78 million USDC and $2 million USDT being sent back by multiple addresses. Online trading brokerage Robinhood is cutting headcount by 780 workers, or about 23% of its employees, in order to further streamline costs amid a continuing decline in monthly active users on the platform. This is on me, wrote CEO Vlad Tenev in a letter to the company employees. He said the company last year staffed in anticipation of continuing strong retail engagement in both the stock and crypto markets. With crashes in both markets, those assumptions proved wrong. This is the second round of layoffs for the company this year, 
it earlier trimmed 9% of its workforce. Meanwhile, New York State's financial regulator has yesterday fined the cryptocurrency arm of Robinhood Markets INC $30 million for alleged violations of anti-money laundering, cybersecurity, and consumer protection rules. Crypto venture capital firm Hashed lost more than $3 billion in Terra's ecosystem Luna token following its crash in early May. CEO and managing partner Simon Shujun Kim admitted in an interview to a television channel. Kim said Hashed acquired 30 million Luna tokens in the project's early days. The value of the token has climbed to as high as $3.6 billion in early April. This is the first time Hashed has officially confirmed the extent of its loss in the Luna crash. The price of Terra's algorithmic stablecoin Terra USD lost its peg to the US dollar on May 7th, causing UST's sister token Luna to crash. Terra's implosion wiped out more than $40 billion in investor wealth in a matter of days. Magic Eden, a non-fungible token marketplace, is turning multi-chain, incorporating Ethereum-based NFTs into its previously Solana-only platform on August 2nd. The marketplace stated, that Ethereum NFT developers will receive the same go-to-market benefits as Solana users such as its popular minting toolkit, whitelisting tools and marketing help. Along with its own cross-chain monitoring dashboard, the company is developing a cross-currency trading product that will allow customers to purchase both Ethereum and Solana NFTs in either blockchain's native currency. Magic Eden raised a $130 million Series A in late June at a $1.6 billion valuation on par with OpenSea's $100 million Series B at a $1.5 billion valuation raised in July 2021. Play Studios, a publicly traded mobile gaming platform and developer, is venturing into Web3 World with a new blockchain division and investment fund. The gaming entity which owns popular mobile apps like Tetris is now launching a new blockchain-focused sector which will use rewarded play to leverage blockchain technology and deliver more rewarding experiences to users across its portfolio of games. It's also announced a $10 million investment futures fund to back companies building rewarded play options. The new division will be built upon the acquisition of blockchain-based loyalty platform for games Wonderblocks, as well as strategic alliance with blockchain infrastructure gaming developer Forte. The NFT tweet that Jack Dorsey sold in March 2021 to Estavi for 1630 Ether, which was worth a huge $2.91 million, has fallen in value. The latest bids for the piece of history have come in at 0.25 ethers worth around $400. Earlier this year, Estavi told the BBC that he may never sell the NFT and upon buying it last year, he compares it to the Mona Lisa. Well, those were the top trending stories. Keep watching your favorite channel 3.0 TV. I'm Vinita Chatterjee, signing off.